welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, and we are going to start the show. So I just want to say happy Halloween to those of you who celebrate it. And um, tell me, what's your favorite Halloween costume? I have a couple. I love dressing up. No, I really love dressing up. I mean, <laughs> it goes beyond Halloween. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, Halloween is absolutely one of my favorite um, holidays because it's so much fun. People get to dress up. They get to get out of character. I don't like all the scary stuff of Halloween. I really don't. I don't like being a, um, afraid on Halloween, but I absolutely love the dressing up and watching people just like get to be silly like kids again. We don't get that very often, do we? Okay, so we're going to get right into the show today. I want to thank everybody online joining me, um, Heather, Sal, Genevieve, uh, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Christine. Um, uh, oh, Catwoman, yes. Okay, so Sal just said he saw somebody dressed up as Catwoman. I was thinking about that this year, Catwoman, but then I thought <laughs> everything in my life now revolves around this. If I have to go to the bathroom, how long is that going to take and how many people am I going to need? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not even joking. How do you get that up and down to go to the bathroom, especially if you've had an adult beverage or two? Right? Am I wrong, girls? Girls, am I wrong? Like, props to the women who can pull off Catwoman. I mean, are you wearing an adult diaper under that costume? That's all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. What else are your favorite costumes? What are the favorite costume you've ever worn, gotten the most um, uh, compliments on? I mean, yes, Genevieve, absolutely. Whatever it is, please, if you're in the chat, tell me in the chat. If you're not in the chat, oh, um, Kavita says Cleopatra, yes. And the and Heather says a pirate, one million percent. Oh, I think you have to be stunning. You have to have a certain look to pull off Cleopatra. I would love to be able to do it. I don't personally have that look. But I've seen a couple really beautiful Cleopatras. I really have, yeah. Um, when I was younger, much younger, my mom sent me to school in a baby costume. I was acting like a baby all day. I was pouting so badly because I was, I was kind of young. I was probably in like maybe fourth or fifth grade. <clears throat> and I wanted to go as something a little bit more sexy. <laughs> always right and she sent me in this big old diaper with this big old bed. <laughs> and everybody loved it except for me and all day I pouted like a baby I'm not even joking all day all day my mom loved Halloween she would take my brother and dress up every year and made sure he went out and had a, my my youngest brother Stevie with Downs made sure he had a, the, the most perfect costume and he always would win um costume contests wherever they would go so yeah I love Halloween too so given the fact that it's Halloween if you would like to connect with someone from the other side please you can um <clears throat> put it in the post Put it in the chat if you're watching on YouTube um, uh, and or if you're on one of the podcasts listening in, the number is 845-277-9131. You can call in. We will help you. I, I will help you connect or spirit will help you connect with your loved ones on the other side. And also, <clears throat> excuse me. 
If you have questions about life, love, career, finances, be happy to answer those. If you're enjoying the show and you want a little good karma, you can hit that like button if you're on something that allows you to like it. If you want to know every time I'm coming on, you can subscribe. I am. I will never reach out to anybody for a private session. Um, you have to reach out to me, so please don't get scammed. Okay, Heather on the chat asked about her son and his illness. Heather, the first thing I get is this is really emotional, something that has been with him since he's been five or six, um, and it's just built since then. I'm going to do a few clearings right now. Um, I actually started a bit ago, and he's having a bit of a heart um, issue. So we're going to go with he has a heart problem. We're going to start clearing that. And we're going to clear that. Okay, Heather, I hope these things are helpful. I really do. Please keep us posted on what they say about your son and his MRI. Um, oh, I, so Genevieve says she loves dressing up as a zombie bride, uh, masquerade evening dress. Oh, I love that. I love that, Genevieve. Awesome. Yeah, If and Cher, yes. Christine says she loves dressing up as Cher. Again, you have to have a certain look to pull those off. Okay, if you have a favorite costume that you wore or wear, please put it in the chat. I love um, I love hearing that. Okay. And I, um, Heather just said, um, she had asked her, Heather had asked in the chat prior, right before going live. Um, she had stated that her son who is now 17, um, is, is having some health issues in his heart and a few other areas. And then, um, the first thing I picked up is it's emotional. And then as I started talking about it, I picked up that it, it happened. It started right around five or six. And Heather just said that's when her and his father got divorced. And Heather, I'm going to tell you, he thinks it was all his fault. He feels like his 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 dad rejected him. And in some way, this was his fault. So we're going to clear that. We're also going to clear that he um, feels this sense of abandonment and rejection, which I get a yes on. And we're going to start clearing that. Um, and no matter how much you explain to children, it's not them. Children are innately built to believe everything is their fault. Hey, brown eyes. Happy Halloween to you, too. Okay, you guys, if you are in the chat, please, um, you can put a question in the chat. I would love to um to answer your question in the uh uh chat um and i'm going to do that little number right there right there um and if you hi erin um erin wants to know do i see her in a relationship yep Yep, Erin, I do. Erin, um, I feel like um, it's okay. It's always up to us, but this one is really up to you. Um, I feel like I hear that song. I'm good if it's not a song, but they're just singing it like a song. I'm good if I do. I'm good if I don't. I'm good if I will. I'm good if I won't. Like they're kind of putting those words to a beat and that, um, like you're not like you have some trepidation with a um you have some trepidation as as to getting into a relationship like okay everything is whatever i don't know if i want to take that route um but i feel like here's what i feel like i feel like somebody's coming in and i i'm going to give you march you might and probably will meet people prior to March, but somebody who's able to give you a more significant relationship will be coming in in March. You don't know this person. You've never met this person before. And this person is going to, um, it's so funny. They're like, they're doing this. Rock your world. I don't even know what that is, but they're doing it. Um, I feel like you're going to like it all the way around, not just like in the. Mm, 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 mm. 
department um, all the way around. This person is going to rock your world. They're going to, um, okay. They're going to show you the side of a relationship you've not yet seen. Okay. So if you are on YouTube and you are in the chat, you can post a question. I do have callers that want to, that have been waiting for, for about, oh, let's see a half hour or so now. Um, so I'm going to go to the callers. I'm going to keep coming back between callers and answering on YouTube. I've got one hour to do this and I am going to do it. So I'm going to take my caller and then I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to try to be really fair about this. People don't drop off on me. I will be happy to get to everybody. 814, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, hi. Um, my name is Amy, and I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hey, Amy, how can I help you today? I am calling to see. I have had um, two job interviews, and I was wondering if you see me getting either of those. Yes. You are going to get an offer from one of them, but I feel like there are two or three more interviews that are going to come in. And I always say, even if you, you know, until you're in the door and you love the job, you just keep looking. I feel like um, one of those is going to want to bring you on. I feel like there might be a, a question and I feel like this question is going to come from the HR department. It's something you're not really expecting. Um, I don't know if it's HR, but it's like after they hire you, they send you some paperwork and some final forms or, or something along those lines. And I haven't worked in a company. Since my 20s. So Hello? when I worked at companies, they really didn't have whole on HR departments. Um, what I'm going to say is something in the final paperwork you're going to question. Make sure you you get it rectified before you sign on and do everything. But there's going to be more interviews coming. And I feel like in these interviews that are coming, Someone's going to call for an interview, and I feel like it's going to be this week. It might even be tomorrow, and that's the job you're going to want. And keep, like, that's it. That's the one I want. I want to get this one. So keep a hold on that, and don't stop applying and or looking until you get that one you want or until you're in the door and all the everything is dotted and I'd and teed and you're happy there. Okay, love? <clears throat> okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm so grateful we were able to um, answer the call for you today. And um, I hope, I hope this was helpful, love. It has. Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. Okay, now uh, people on um, the call-in, if you do want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm here every single Monday and Wednesday, and I take callers live. And this does air on TV. Now I'm going to go to the next question. Um, Christine... Uh, considering surgery on my back, do you think it's a good idea? Okay. Um, here's what I'm getting, and you have to make this choice on your own. I'm... I'm getting you're not going to get what you want out of this surgery. Um, I know that surgeries have come a very long way and they're able to do a lot of very miraculous things with back surgery, but I do feel like this surgery isn't going to be able to completely resolve the issue that you have. And if you have this surgery whatever's left over is going to remain left over. They won't be able to go in later and rectify anything they didn't get and that the problems will continue. 
Um, I do feel like in a month and a half, something's going to come in that's going to alleviate all of this. Whatever this is, it's going to alleviate it. I'm going to do, she's a significant pain. Yes, clear that. Her back's in alignment. No, clear that. She is. <clears throat> Okay, clear that. She's learned all the lessons she needs to learn. Okay, I'm do Christine, I'm doing like this. Um these clearings on you for your back right now. So everybody, I'm sorry. I just am going to dive deep you, you, you into this. Um, I hope this helps. I, I'm going to tell you whatever this is. I feel like in a month and a half, something's going to come in that's going to help to alleviate it. It might be something. I don't know what's going to come in, but a month and a half is not a long time to wait considering um, something could come in that could completely help you out. I hope that was helpful and I'm sorry it's probably not the answer you were looking for. Okay, let's go over and I'm going to come back to more questions on the chat. I'm going to go to the next caller though, who is who, 415. Did I just do 415? 415, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you today? Good. I have kind of a funny one today. Um, the mm -hmm. place where I'm house-sitting, there's a... When I lay down in bed at night, it feels like... A, oh, there's no cat in the house, but it feels like a little spirit kitty jumps on my bed and walks along my bed and yeah, it feels there exactly is a cat like, there is a cat it's in the not house scary. it's not scary i mean yeah <laughs> yeah there is a little and spirit. i talk to the cat and i i say you can stay here but just lay down stop walking up and down my bed <laughs> well the cat okay so one thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna help this cat transition so that it can, right. you know, be where it's supposed to be. And I'm not going to, the angels are. And I'm going to tell you, there is a cat. You're right. Okay. It does uh, kind of, and it's a young kitty. It's not an older kitty. It's a very yeah. young kitty. So that kitten, I'm going to call it a baby. The baby is on its way home. Kate, thank you so much <laughs> for bringing that in um, and helping Aww. that little bean transition. Um, I do feel like that is a beautiful thing for Hallow's, Hallow's Eve to help a little baby kitty yeah. transition, right? Yes, yes, yes. Kate, thank you again for calling in. I hope that this um, helps you have some peace when you're sleeping. Yeah, I hope this has helps you have some peace while you're sleeping, okay? Do you think the dog feels that too? Is the dog aware yeah. of that little kitty on the bed? You know what? Animals are more aware of. Um, yeah. See, they can see through the veil much better than we can. They can completely see through the yeah. veil and understand and. Um, uh, they can see things that we ca we cannot. So yes, I do believe that the dog is very well aware of the cat. And uh, yes, absolutely, love, absolutely. All righty. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling in, love. I am going to do a special clearing for this uh, day for Halloween, Hallow's Eve. For everybody watching, re-watching, listening, re-listening, let's clear our homes. Let's make sure there's no spooky, icky layers in our homes. So our homes are clear. I get a no. Let's clear that now. Homes are unclear. I get a yes. Let's clear that to a no. <laughs> you guys, sometimes these clearings hit me. <laughs> so when I say clearing or healing, we're just taking away all the old energy whether it's like if there, if we're in a home where there was a lot of fighting or arguing or going on, um, that energy sits and we have to get it out. Or if, you know, we have like little kitty visitors or little, um, 
little kitty visitors or little, um, you know, whatever it is, uh, uh, relatives, uh, we can help them be where they're supposed to be. And I'm going to say this. Now, everybody's like, don't take my mom. Don't take my dad. Don't take my, my grandpa. They bring me luck. If they've already transitioned, they can stay. We're not working on people who have already gone to heaven. And by the way, everybody goes to heaven. Um, we're not working on those people. We're working on the people who are kind of lingering. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, we're going to go to the next person on the YouTube chat. And if you do have a question and you are on YouTube and you want to put it in the chat, please, by all means, post your question. I'm happy to answer it. If you want to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. Okay, Christine, we did you. Kavita. I would love any additional info on this man you see coming into my life. Uh, you started to speak about him last time I called in. Thank you and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Okay, so Kavita would like to know more about any man coming into her life. Okay, so one thing I noticed, I came on Sunday and I did a pop-up um, show. And one thing I noticed is that we went from like meeting people in four to six weeks to meeting people in January. So there's been a significant time difference. I don't know if that's going to be for everybody that that's happening, but I'm going to tell you this man is um, spontaneous. He enjoys being out and having adventures. Um, he doesn't like somebody who's sedentary. I don't care what the age is. He'll be like 105 and still be like, let's go to the amusement park or, you know, whatever it is. He needs a continual, like, I want to use the word stimulation, but he likes to get up and go and live life. He likes to be out and about. And as a matter of fact, if he can't be out and about, he, he tends to get a bit depressed. He tends to get a bit um, not not, I don't want to say full on depressed, but he tends to get a bit like it makes him, he gets part of the spark of his life from doing things. Okay. Kavita, I hope that helps you. Brown eyes. I'm going to answer your question next, but I'm going to go to the call log and I'm going to take 516 next 516. What's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name's Anna from New York. Um, yeah, Anna. Oh, I also would love to know about love life. Ooh, I love me some love. Oh, I love talking about love and new love coming in. Okay, Anna from New York. Do you notice, like you guys, I can't even control that. Like when I start my my words start to get that, let's just call it accent, whatever. That is totally spirit coming through. Somebody from the other side coming through um, for you. Okay, so, okay, Anna, I feel like the person coming in for you is coming in January. And if I'm going to be more exact and please be open to any other day during the month of January, the 2nd and the 15th are going to be very good days and the 17th. Now, whether this is, these are the days that you're going to meet somebody or not, um, I don't know. What I can tell you is the 2nd and the 15th and the 17th and the 17th is circled. Woo -woo, woo -woo. Um, on the 17th, you are going to be... Um, uh, uh it, that's gonna just be a good day all the way around okay january 17th now on the second and the um 15th one of those days is a day you have the potential to either meet someone and or go do something with a group of people that will lead you to meeting somebody the person coming in is brand spanking new do not settle for someone for the past. Don't play with the plays from the past. Just like chug forward. And even though this isn't coming in until January, possibly January, um, I feel like you really need to like cut ties with everything that has been holding you back as far as um, 
just everything. And they're even saying work. Now, here's the other thing I'm going to say. If you are working at a good job and you're not planning on going anyplace, I'm going to tell you, it doesn't mean quit your job. It means let go of any toxicity at your job or at your work. Folks, we are going through a purge of negativity and toxicity. If we're not letting them go, you know, our ancestors are like sweeping them out for us. Let them do their job and do not make it harder for them. I feel like the person coming in is going to be a really good person for you. They're going to have a lot of really good insights. A more mature person. Um, and you like to be a little bit fiery passionate, a little verbose at time. The person coming in is going to be very, they're not going to put up with you abusing them. They're going to like your passion and they're definitely, absolutely 100% not going to go um, like, like if you're very passionate about something, they're not going to like fight with you just to, to be right. They're going to appreciate your passion. Like they're like somebody in their family was very passionate, like maybe their grandma or something. So they're used to that kind of fiery um, type of passion. Um, okay. So that's what I have for you. And I hope that that helps. Great. Thank you so much. You that are was great. You are so welcome. I am going to go to the YouTube chat now and take the next call. The next question on YouTube and then I will be back to 303 so 303 hold on Susie I hope all is well thank you Susie um Susie my question is about my grandma that passed I know she's with me she's always been my protector I love that um I never got to say goodbye to her does she have any anything, any message? I love her with all my heart. Okay, Susie, she did hear you say goodbye. She was with you when you were um, mourning her loss, her her spirit or her, um, I can see her, your, your head is down and you're very upset. And I can see her like over your, it would have been over your left shoulder and holding you and saying it, it's, it, it's okay. Um, the message that she would want to give to you is do everything she couldn't. I know, right? I know. Mm, I really like that message. Do everything she couldn't. Um, I hope you understand what she means by that. You should. You should. You should understand what she means by that. They usually, when they give a message, we get it like immediately. Um, the other thing that I want to tell you is um, her symbol for you outside is the cardinal, and when you're and feathers, any feathers that fall, any feathers that you find, that's those are signs that she's around you. Okay, love Susie. I hope that is helpful, and she loves you, and she loves you. And she knows you think about her all the time. Okay. I just, I have to do this so quickly. I love each and every one of you so much. If you did not get through with your question or your call today, I will be back on Wednesday. Come back with more questions, more connections. And I love each and every one of you. Have an absolutely amazing rest of the day.